Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and donated to my channel. I would also like to say thank you to everyone who has commented on my videos. I don't have time to answer everyone, but I do read each and every comment. So again, thank you so much. Now, if the channel that you're watching this video on does not say Enchanted Tarot, then this video should not be on that channel. And in the uh, description box, the contact email should be EnchantedTarotJW at gmail.com. So now this is a uh, general reading for the sign of Aries for the month of December. Uh, it is a general reading, so it is not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, uh, check your moon and your rising sign for your messages. So let's begin this reading. I feel that whoever this is for, and this is only going to be for a specific few here, we are dealing with um, third party energy here. Now this could be uh, third party as in um, your partner stepped out or you stepped out of the relationship or this could be third party as in addictions. It can be a family member or a friend, just some sort of third energy that comes in between two people. Okay? So I feel that this is energy that is surrounding the home and family. I feel that there have been some secrets and I do feel that these secrets are going to be revealed. I do see that we do have a third party here and this person here would be like a naysayer, like a, a mother or a mother-in-law or um, an older person who is not in agreement, okay, <clears throat> who's sticking their nose where they shouldn't. And this energy here does appear again in your reading. Um, I think that for some of you, you may have uh, broken away from the family or uh, this is a breakup uh, between two people. And I feel that there are a lot of regrets here. Um, because I do have a card of like grieving with the Five of Cups. Now at the center of this reading we do have the uh, devil. So this is the central issue. Okay. Um, this speaks to third party energies as I explained uh, a few minutes ago. And it can also be somebody who's very controlling and very manipulative. It could be for some of you that you're just feeling stuck with regards to a situation. The devil is unhealthy, uh, unhealthy attachment. Um, and generally, if it's an, another person, then it, it is somebody uh, that you know. It's somebody from your past, most likely. Um, or somebody you're living with in the present, but you definitely know this person. I feel that you don't trust this person. And I feel like you, you have to be on your guard. Um, that there has been, I have a card here that speaks to deception, cheating, and uh, trickery. Um, Yeah, somebody that <clears throat> would use love to uh, to his own ends to achieve what he wants. So, and you know that's what the devil does. He will uh, create illusions, get what he wants, and then you know uh, he's out of there, or you know he's just uh, manipulating you, promising you things that are never going to happen. At the root of this. We have the emperor. Now the emperor could represent you, Aries, uh, but it can also represent somebody that is not available emotionally. Um, and perhaps for some of you, you are no longer available emotionally to this person, which caused this breakup. 
and uh, you may be on guard with regards to any backlash you could feel coming from that person um, because you left them, you know what I mean? Because they're, they're very controlling, very manipulative, very possessive. So like this can go different ways. Um, I feel that it took probably a lot of courage on your part uh, just to uh, put up with this person uh, and even to make up your mind to get out of there. Um, it wasn't balanced, not at all. There was a lot of... Uh, this person took advantage of you. Um, was very controlling. Um, and I think the truth of that came out. And I feel that uh, for some of you, you actually, you, you took all your courage and you left. I feel that this is like a wish that kind of went bad. Um, but you seem to have a lot of fears and anxieties with regards to this person. Some of you could be afraid of this person. Um, you, uh, if you're still in that relationship, you are really unhappy with your situation and um, there's a lot of anxiety. You uh, feeling stuck, don't know how to get out for some of you. Um, the truth of this person comes to light. Um, we have our third party energy here again. Uh, this could be uh, an older person, uh, a mother-in-law, uh, meddling, somebody meddling. Um, it could simply be another person. It could be an earth sign involved in this somehow, somewhere. Um, the truth of all of this, of, of what this person has done, uh, is going to come out, is going to come to light. Um, for some of you that were separated and this was a legal issue, you may not be happy about the legal, uh, about the outcome. Okay? Um, because I do have judgment in reverse up here. And um, and then I have the lovers, which speaks to, uh, this is uh, from the after tarot. And this is about tasting of the forbidden fruit. Uh, and you know, if, it's, if you are the one who stepped outside of this relationship, um, You, um, this could be why the uh, judgment here fell in reverse on you. Um, it's like karma coming back. Um, and, you know, I say that because of this fellow here and the message of this card is to be careful what you put out because it, it can come back at you. Um, so we do have light that gets shed on this situation, whatever your situation is, because there's so many of you out there and it's all going to be different, whoever this resonates with. For some of you, you will have already less, uh, left this devil energy behind and you're caught up in the legal system. Uh, for some of you, you just you've left and you are afraid of this person. Um, for some of you, you're still in there trying to get the courage to get out. And you know, for some of you, you just may be finding out about this third party here uh, because this person, you know, has not been available emotionally, and you would you would know that if you're watching this video, you know that that person 
is not available to you emotionally and you may be wondering why and this would be why. Um, <clears throat> it's like you're feeling uh, very discouraged, feeling uh, like you've been taken advantage of. It's possible for some of you, not all of you, but it's possible that this person could uh, offer an apology. But, you know, that's going to be for very few of you. The person who did take advantage of you could apologize. And um, that is what I've got, f got for you for uh, December. So um, I wish you the best of luck with this. I thank you so much for watching. If you would like to book a private reading, the details on how to do so are in the description box below. Many blessings to you, and uh, I wish you uh, a happy holiday season. Bye-bye.